the electric charge is contained by material a matter and that matter may have different type of shapes when it is a very small like a point then we say the electric charge is in the shape of a point that is a point charge but if we have a wire and we give it a charge then here is the charge here is the charge here is the charge and this we will say the charge is distributed in the shape of a straight line if we have a metal sheet and we give charge to it then due to repulsion all the charge is distributed on the sheet we will call it a sheet of charge now each of it whether it is a point shape whether it is a line shape whether it is a sheet shape each is having same quantity that is q of electric charge but at a certain distance will they make same electric field or different electric field this we are going to study today so we will take one shape and what is the electric field calculation for that and what is the shape of that electric field that we are going to do today so that we will call distribution of charge so we will have different distributions of charge the first distribution we will take as point charge point charge means the matter which is containing charge is in shape of a point and it's containing the charge this will make electric field and we are supposed to measure the electric field at a particular distance r now this electric field how do we know it we will put a test charge here and we will find that this test charge q is being repelled in this direction that is direction of the line joining the two charges so this is vector representing force and this force per unit charge is e so this is the vector for electric field so for point charge this is the electric field now what will be the electric field here answer is join the two and go out here join the two and go out so you will find it is like this so this is a particular shape what is this shape known as this is just like radius of a circle so we will say the electric field due to point charge is a radial field okay due to point charge and at distance r at distance r this is e is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not q upon r this is the electric field in the direction of r unit vector so this is the shape radial and this is the quantity at any one point this is point charge okay now second we have is line charge when this is a line which is carrying charge all over it and we have to find electric field at this point now electric field at this point why it is different of electric field at this point the answer is this charge will make electric field here in this direction and this charge will make electric field here in this direction they cannot be added because they are in different directions it will have a component in this direction other component in this direction this will have a component in this direction other component in this direction these two will cancel each out these two will be added so this electric field is less than the electric field by this because there were no cancellation like this all the charges were here if there were 100 charges all 100 were here here all 100 are not here 10 here 10 here 10 here 10 10 10 10 and some component of electric field is cancelled here e1 e2 so this is the electric field at this point now because of this 
we get this resultant here and similarly we get resultant at uh, different points this electric field will be less the shape of this electric field how do we get the shape this is the resultant shape these are cancelled at this point this is the resultant shape at this point this is the resultant shape at this point this is the resultant shape here in this direction here in that direction but this and this we will not find here all these are parallel to each other here like bristles like a brush for the bottle you have seen a brush for the bottle here are the uh, strings this way this way this way this way this way that is the shape of electric field in all these directions so that is electric field due to line charge and now at any particular distance at any particular distance how can we find out the electric field quantity calculation measurement of electric field how do we do for that we take a very small length here dl and in this dl how much charge is there we calculate and now here something comes new for you whenever we have charge distributed in a line we will not take the full charge at a point we have the formula only for point charge what is the formula e is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q upon r this is the charge but this formula is only for the point charge and here we have many points from different directions so we cannot use this formula for this complete charge but we have a way out what is that way out for any length distribution we discover one quantity and that is uh, charge per unit length we will call it lambda charge per unit length that means in 1 meter the charge is 1 lambda 1 lambda 1 lambda 1 lambda and the total charge is q so the charge is distributed this way charge per unit length so whenever we have a wire for measurement of charge we do not use the language total charge we use the language charge per unit length because this line may be very long have you seen the line in front of your house it comes from power house and it goes continuously continuously up to 1000 km you cannot count charge on that so what we can count we want measurement so we will measure the charge on 1 meter and that is known as charge per unit length and its symbol is lambda okay so now you are introduced to a quantity lambda which is charge per unit length now if i take a very small length dl how much will be charge on this on 1 meter it is lambda on 1 meter it is lambda so on dl length how much it will be lambda into dl okay dl is so small that i can take it as equal to a point it is so small that is infinitely small approaching zero dl is so small so it is like a point if it is like a point then i have a liberty to use the formula for point charge otherwise i don't have a formula for the length but i have a formula for point charge i want to use that so i can i take only this very small part which is infinitely small and this is dl so the charge on dl which shape it has it has point shape how much is that lambda into dl so i have a permission now to use electric field formula for lambda dl because it is a point charge in that case how much will be e the answer is e is equal to same formula but this electric field is not for these all charges it is only for a very small length dl so i will write it very small part of electric field de so de is what 
a very small part of electric field which is due to dl how i write it 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught in place of charge i will place lambda dl and this distance is r so this is r e sorry i forgot to write here r square so this is r square this is electric field at this point because of this dl but we want electric field due to full length for full length we know calculus and integrate both sides when we integrate both sides then this become e and this is integration of this full quantity 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught lambda dl upon r square i will write it uh, uh, very clearly here that electric field due to line charge is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught and integration of lambda dl upon r square this so this is expression for electric field due to line what is the shape this brush here the bristles which are coming out this way so that is the shape and this is the quantity in this case what is the shape a sphere take a point take the bristles all the sides that is direction of electric field in all and this is the quantity full and this is given by integration and this integration dl this will change from 0 to l has the two limits for the complete length this is electric field due to the line charge and now in the next topic we will see electric field due to full sheet